Hi guys, it's Ashley and welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine, which yes I am in fact wearing right now. I feel like I haven't done a makeup routine in the longest time and I'm gonna show you guys everything. All the techniques, all the products. We got some freckles, my most favorite mascara, lip products that I love, everything I'm gonna show you guys and I'm so freaking excited. This usually actually does not take me that long. It maybe takes me like 15 minutes, 20 minutes if I'm like really going hard at it, but like 10, 15 minutes I can usually knock this whole look out with. So we're gonna actually start with like washing my face and all of that jazz because I feel like that kind of, in my mind, still kind of constitutes as my makeup tutorial. So let's get started. We're gonna head into the bathroom before I put on any of this. Let's go. Wait, I don't want to be wearing the sweatshirt for this video. I'm gonna change it in a minute. You guys will get to see me pick my outfit as well. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this cleanser. Peach Slices Acne Clarifying Cleanser. A little dollop right there. Ooh. Wipe your face on a clean towel. Then I am gonna go in with the Essence Toner from Pyongyang Yu. Just a little bit. There we go. Followed by their moisture serum. Did you guys see that? Pipette. It's like biology. Now just let it dry. Also, I picked up my face this morning. It's not the best day to pick up my face when I'm trying to film, make a video, but got a little couple blemishes here and there, but it's fine. Now, I'm gonna brush my teeth because dental health is extremely important, guys. Brush your teeth before you eat breakfast. I am guilty of brushing my teeth after I eat breakfast because I'm like, obviously I don't want my breath to smell bad. But apparently if you do that, then you're just like eating down the bacteria that's in your mouth, so. Done. Next, I actually have been doing this every day for like the past few weeks and I'm very impressed with myself for sticking to this and for seeing some results for real. So I have recently been using this teeth whitening pen from Spotlight Oral Care and just looks like this. Twist the bottom and the whitening gel goes into the little bristles up here that you just, just paint on your teeth, just like that. Super easy. And there we go. And then I let it rest for five minutes and then I just rinse my mouth in five minutes. But like I said, I've been doing this for a few weeks and my teeth already whiter. I've used some other whitening things in the past that caused me immense sensitivity, but Spotlight has been amazing. No sensitivity. By the way, here's just a little before and after of how my teeth look so you guys can see the results yourselves as well. Here's how my teeth look three weeks ago versus today. Also, they have whitening strips. If you guys are into that, they're super easy. You just leave them on your teeth for an hour. Anyways, I do want to, of course, thank Spotlight Oral Care so much for partnering with me on this video. They're literally epic. Everything is vegan, cruelty, free look at this 100% recyclable packaging sustainable anyways if you guys want to join the spotlight community and get 25% off of your first order just click the link down below my description and use my code to get that nice 25% off now let's go do my makeup okay like I said I kind of want to change my top I want to change my sweatshirt to be something more exciting kitty say hi ender kitty ender kitty Goes wherever the Enderman kitty goes. Okay, outfit change. Cardigan, little tank top, necklaces. These are from Princess Polly. This is Honey Lock, and then one of you guys sent me this one. Okay, so here I am. I always do my makeup in my room. I don't do it in the bathroom just because I'm not a big fan of like the artificial light. The first thing that I'm gonna start out with, of course, is gonna be sunscreen. I am, you, you can tell that I got this from Marshalls, but it's Alba Botanica SPF 45 fragrance-free sunscreen. And I try to get my skincare products fragrance-free. If possible, I try to get all of them fragrance-free just because I try to avoid Avoid having extra things on my face if I don't have to. I'm also going to, I probably should have done this before I put on sunscreen. I'm gonna put on a little bit of lash serum. This is the Vegemore Grow Lash Serum. I actually have only been using it for like a few days, so I have no idea if it is working or not, but I'll keep you guys updated. Really should have done this before I put on sunscreen. I am gonna start off by just using some concealer just to try to like, get this guy. I'm pretty sure this is concealer. This is the Kosa's Shade 6 Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer. I'm gonna put it on under my eyes like this. And then I always get around the bottom of my nose. I always pick up my skin on my nose, so my nose is like always red there. This is a scar on my forehead because I ran away from my mom when I was four and I didn't want to brush my teeth and I tripped and fell and then I hit my forehead into the metal bed frame and 
blood went everywhere. I had to go to the hospital and they had to uh, super glue it back together. Anyways, sometimes I'll use a beauty blender. I'm gonna wet it though and then use it. Okay, I kind of rubbed it out too much to cover the spots, so I'm gonna go back in with Shape Tape, Tarte Shape Tape actually, color 37G. This one is like really high coverage right here. I think it looks a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Okay, now I'm gonna do powder right now just to kind of like make my face look a little bit less greasy. CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder in the shade 742, medium beige. Just take this. It's like a little bit bronzy for my face, but I kind of like that because it makes my skin look like it has like a nice little bit of a healthy tan glow. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I literally saw how Madison Beer did her eyebrows and I was like, oh my God, I have to copy her because they look really good. Oh, there's, I feel a hair on my face. I saw that she was doing soap brows. So she said that she just like searched soap brows on Amazon and then you just get the top one. So I literally just did exactly what she did. And it comes in this like little tin and it's literally just soap that you spray with water. I'm actually using, I feel like, I don't know if I should do this, but this is a rose water toner from Coco Kind that I just spray in there. Okay, and then you take like a little spoolie and brush it through your eyebrows and like really brush them up so you kind of get like a lifted brow if you know what I'm saying. See, lots of lifting there. And then just like sort out the top. And there you go. And look at how much higher up this eyebrow is than this one. Like, are you kidding me? I have been loving doing this recently. Kitty, say hi. She's obsessed with the makeup drawers, let me tell you. There you go. Girlfriend, what are you doing? What are you doing in there? Now that my eyebrows are done, usually the next step for me is blush. Oh, you wanna say hi? Oh my goodness. Oh, you are so, wow. You're so beautiful. So for my blush, this is like my favorite blush ever. It's from Ali Oop. It is their Sun Kissed, um, I don't know what to call this, like a stack? kind of. So the top one is blush and it's like super pigmented. It's like a kind of coral colored blush. So I usually just take one of my fingers, dot it on my face, just like that. And I always go over my nose bridge as well. Make sure that you get a little bit of blush on the nose bridge. And then I just rub it out with my hand. I know I already put powder on my face. So I feel like I'm like doing this in the weirdest order, but like this is honestly like how I always do it. And I feel like my makeup stays on for a long time. So sometimes I kind of also want to um, set the blush with powder as well. So I'll just use blush, a powder blush, which does mean I will have like a lot of blush on my face, but I love blush. So this one is from J. Manuel. I love the color of this one. It's in the color Escape, it's his soft, soft focus blush. Take a little bit of it and just run it over the blush that I just put down. Okay, so I love to put on fake freckles. As you guys can tell, I do have fake freckles naturally, not fake freckles. I do have freckles naturally, but I wanna add some more cause I really like the look of like having them go over my nose bridge. So I am using this, this is the Freck XL Original Freckle. So I literally just got this like two days ago. Before that, I was doing the bronzer. You guys can actually tell, like I was using this from the Ali Oop palette. Plus this, I would like dip the point of it into the bronzer and I would dot it individually all over my face, but they would wear off kind of quickly because it's obviously like bronzer and not like a stain. But basically you just dot your face like however you want your freckles to be. And then you kind of push your finger into it and then you can paste the freckles on more areas of your cheek. So it makes the whole freckle process go by a lot faster. And I think the stain looks a lot more natural. Okay, I might've gone a little bit over board but I don't know I like it though let me put on some chapstick right now hopefully my lips haven't been like crusty the whole video this is my favorite chapstick I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond it's the CO Bigelow lemon lip balm okay and now I'm gonna show you guys how I do my eye makeup which is like I love my new way of doing my eye makeup I'm so excited to show you guys so this makeup brush I stole from Amber so thanks Amber if you're watching this sorry if you've been looking for it but it accidentally got packed up in my bags. This is like, it's like a fake James Charles palette kind of from Amazon. I just got it for like fun makeup looks and I'm taking these little corner ones. So it's a little bit of medium brown, 
dark brown and like a gold color just mix it all together and then i'm just putting it on my eyelid not like my upper eyelid just like the lower eyelid if that makes sense putting it on there kind of like a smoky eye like definitely making it like rather a darker makeup look than usual for me there we go and i'm gonna take a little bit extra of this gold color and put it towards the inner corner of my eye hopefully i'm doing a good enough job of showing you guys i do like kind of messy eye makeup like not super refined eye makeup because i feel like it looks a little bit more natural that way so that's how it looks if you guys want you can totally take like a lighter gold color like this one for example get your inner corners of your eyes you know that usually looks pretty good so okay now i'm just gonna barely brush the color below my eyes just to blend it. And then I am going to now do my eyeliner, which I do a very specific way. So the way that I do it sometimes is I'll just take a small brush like this, just like a very small angled brush. Oh. What are you doing, babe? Look at her tails like getting all in the screen. Anyways, so what I do sometimes is I'll take the black and the dark brown and I'll just use that like angularly to give myself eyeliner. But what I've been doing recently is taking this little like paintbrush looking guy that it's from Lush. So I usually use this with the Lush eyeliner, but I've been recently using this one from e.l.f. It is in the shade Coffee and it's just like a solid eyeliner. Just taking a little bit of it on this brush. You kind of have to like, gotta have a little bit of hand control, but drawing out basically like three-fourths of the way down my eye I'll just kind of draw out like a straight line basically just like that and I try not to dry it out too long I hate having an eyeliner wing that's too long I feel like it's so awkward and I kind of think I just did that yeah I draw it out as far as I think it should go take it from the bottom corner of my eye and just connect the line there I think the big thing though is don't wing your eyeliner up just straight just draw it straight out that's how i do my eyeliner and then i'll just kind of reach further up the eye just do like a little line just to connect it to the wing there you go on this side i'll do the next side now okay there we go using this as eyeliner it definitely makes it look like a little bit more fancy i feel like if i use the shadow as eyeliner it's like a little bit more smudgy a little bit more natural um but either way i still like it i really like to use a brown color for my liner just because i feel like it looks it, i feel like it has a good look to it i just really like it and then recently i literally used to never do this but i don't know why i'm like loving how it looks to have some under eye eyeliner so i'm just gonna take it really lightly and kind of connect this wing to my lower lash line just like as far as it goes basically. Okay, and I kind of like to blend that with my hands just so it's not as harsh, but now we have the under eye eyeliner. And then pretty much the last thing I have to do is mascara. Sometimes I do highlight on my face, but usually I actually honestly don't do highlight. So I'm not gonna today because I kind of don't feel like it's necessary. This is my favorite mascara. I talk about it all the time. It's Get Big Lashes by Essence. It's like $4, you can get it at Ulta. This one I literally just got. I feel like it actually works the best once it's been like oxidized a little bit and it isn't brand new, but we'll see how this works. You wanna smell it, Mrs. Baby? <laughs> I always do my mascara by pushing my eyelashes to the side because I feel like it grabs the most mascara that way and then kind of straight or pushing it to the other side and lower lashes just a little bit same thing pull the lashes to the side a little bit all right and I feel like my eyes look crazy then I just realized that I do like to do a little bit of stuff on my lips sometimes. Usually I'll just only wear chapstick and like this is my natural lip color, which I actually do like my natural lip color, but, but I gotta show you guys something really good. So I am gonna take this lip liner by Charlotte Tilbury. It's in the color Pillow Talk. I kind of want to go for like a blurred kind of look on my lips. So I will just like line a little bit above my lips like barely this actually like pretty much matches my natural lip color which is nice and then blend it up like onto my skin i don't know if you guys can even tell and a little bit on the bottom just barely to so give it like a little bit of a blurred look on my lips oh oh my god kitty i didn't see you there 
She's literally crawling behind me. Her eyes are crazy. Pretty sure, okay, so this one I got sent to me. It's the W Lab Selfie Velvet Lip Tint. This is so like buttery, soft, matte. It's like a pillow. I have heard that there's similar ones from like NYX or the YSL like matte lip something, but it's like a really like fluffy, like whipped texture. And it doesn't, like if I use lipstick sometimes, like it kind of like cakes, but this one doesn't and it looks really good. Get it on my lips like that. Oops, blend it out. I can also put a little bit of this like above my lips too, just to blend it out nicely. I literally, I love this, it's very good. And there we go, that is how I do my makeup pretty much every single day. Sometimes I won't do as heavy of like mascara or eyeliner if I wanna go for like a more natural look, but this is my favorite way to do my makeup. I feel so confident with my makeup like this. I hope that you guys liked my makeup tutorial and that I gave you some little pointers that I hope were helpful. I will try to have everything linked down below. Of course, I will have a link to Spotlight Oral Care down in my description as well. You guys can click the link and use my code to get 25% off. So make sure that you guys go check them out. But anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to double tap the like button, double tap the subscribe button. And of course, make sure to click confirm when it asks you to unsubscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.